Head coach at Vanderbilt who competed uh, in this conference against Heston Kerstad. You were telling us so much about him. You love the player. Uh, you kind of built it up to where now this is surprising. Number two overall, your thoughts on the pick? Well, I don't think it's so surprising. And, and first of all, uh, congratulations to the Kerstad family and Dave Van Horn in Arkansas. But uh, my first thought is uh, that warehouse in right field in Baltimore is in trouble. They better cover up their windows because this kid has a lot of power. He can hit. He's hit since his freshman year. And I think if you ask Dave Van Horn, he would tell you that's one of the best hitters to ever come through Arkansas. But this kid's gifted. We, we talked in the pre-draft show about his mind. And there's a lot of emotional stability with this kid. And it allows him to make adjustments. I do not think he has a complicated swing. There's a little bit of waggle to his hands in the preparation to hit. But if you look at him, he stays centered. He, he, there's some bat layback. And there's a lot of strength in his hands, and he has some bat speed as well. But uh, I, I think this kid's going to play left field, right field, play in the big leagues for a long time, hit for some average, and he's certainly going to hit some home runs. You know, to me, guys, he got some similarities in the held and swing. I mean, it's got that kind of finish for Ooh, me. Tough. I dropped the Kyle Schwarber on him. Uh, I wish I could change that right now. I might put a 60 bat, <laughs> 60, bat 60 power. And, I, you know, I, this is an impact bat. And the thing that I really like about this kid, he started making adjustments, cutting down his strikeouts before the season stopped. He's going to continue to get better and better and better. I love this pick. I'm really in on this player. So, I mean, I think they're getting an impact player.